This activist, who opposes the North Korean regime, receives round-the-clock police protection. I was attacked twice by North Korean terrorists, once with a pistol and another with a poison needle. Thankfully, the police caught them. Park sends 12-meter-high balloons twice a month over the border to North Korea. Each balloon carries 8 kilograms of anti-Pyongyang leaflets, U.S. dollar bills, and USB sticks loaded with K-pop and South Korean TV dramas. Thanks to K-pop, we can let North Korea know that people here live in a society that is rich, human, and free. Park, who was born in North Korea, fled his home country after coming across similar propaganda literature sent from the free and democratic South. Today, the defectors' actions are making headlines around the world. But not everyone agrees with what he's doing. Since the 28th of May, North Korea has retaliated by sending more than 2,000 balloons filled with waste and even excrement to the south. And these people living close to the border have had enough. They want activists like Park to stop provoking the North Korean regime. Launching South Korean balloons is clearly an attack on the pride of North Korea. And as a result, the North Korean military become aggressive and threaten to shoot us. We're very anxious. South Koreans are divided over the balloon war. In 2023, the Constitutional Court here in Seoul ruled that activists could not be banned from sending political propaganda to North Korea, as they were only affirming their freedom of expression. So we can expect that this balloon war will continue in the region.